leaving his mark. A Tulsa artist is making a big impression. It's on a building set to open in just eight days. Two News Multimedia journalist Rico Bush takes us to his canvas. Initially started with a sketch, I just uh, drew something up. With the stroke of an artist's hand, an Oklahoma star shines bright on a brick wall at the corner of Boston and Brady. Anytime you can do a project this large, you know, for your hometown, it feels good and it's an honor. Even though you can't hear the strings of this old instrument, the sounds of Woody Guthrie's music rings loud to the man behind this piece of art. See, he has a lot of effect on on our, our state, you know, and the people here. And I just kind of, through this project, learned a lot more about him. It took Aaron Weisner three days in a tough art competition to complete this painting of the late icon upon hundreds of sturdy red blocks. I feel really, you know, proud to uh, have gotten the opportunity and um, fortunate that, you know, my uh, design was selected. Selected and now painted. The image of the man who had a major influence on traditional folk in blues. It's a great honor to be a part of this uh, the center and be able to, you know, have my work on on the building. It's Woody's last stand in the art district of Tulsa, and to Aaron, a cultural homecoming of Oklahoma's native son, an inspiring mural for all to see at the corner of Boston and Brady in Tulsa. Rico Bush, two news points for you. Oh, that's so cool. Well, if you do need to get out and paint, well, tomorrow will be a good day to do it.